Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have an organizational video for you. I'm going to tackle a few spots in my master bathroom and my second bathroom. These are the drawers that are in the vanities, the medicine chest, just kind of how I organize it with a few Dollar Tree items. This is not very, you know, visual appealing Pinterest worthy, but it's functional. So I'm just gonna take you through the steps of how I declutter and organize it. Hopefully it motivates you to get in your bathroom to kind of declutter, get rid of the things that are no longer serving you, maybe organize things that make a little sense. I rearrange some things to make a little bit more sense because we have two levels in my home and a bathroom on the top level and on the bottom level. And some things just were not working so I rearranged some of those things too. So come along with me and let's see how I did it with a few simple Dollar Tree organizational bins and just a little bit of time. Okay, first things first, in a situation where you're decluttering and organizing, I like to pull everything out of that area. So if it's your drawers or your medicine cabinet or your linen closet, pull everything out give it a good cleaning and disinfecting, and then assess what you're going to put back in the space. Make sure when you're assessing the items that the items are functional and they benefit and serve you and your family. If the items are something that you no longer need or use, it's time to disregard them. Either throw them away, give them away, or sell them. My next tip is to find things that are affordable or that you have around your home to corral like items. For example, I found a few containers at the Dollar Tree and I found some items that I can repurpose around my home. I like to corral like items such as band-aids or ponytail holders, hair brushes and combs um, and things like that. My third tip would be to organize things that you use every day. So for example, I am here in my medicine chest and I want to put in my medicine chest things that I can easily reach for that are easily accessible. I don't want to put things in there that I maybe use once or twice a year. And I'm going to corral all of these things together so all like items will be together when I do this.
My fourth tip is to work in sections. So what I mean by this is find areas in the room that you want to organize your items. So for example, in a bathroom, it may be a linen closet, a medicine chest, and drawers. Pick three to five areas and work in sections as you declutter. Decide what is going in each area.
Okay, my last and final tip is reconsider and reevaluate your buying. And what I mean by this is I want you to take a look at the items in your home and if they're serving you, awesome. But when you go out to the stores to purchase non-consumable items, I want you to reevaluate. Are you actually going to need this item? Is this item going to make your home feel clutter? Uh, is this item going to be beneficial? Is it functional? The consumable items, I also want you to reevaluate and consider. For example, facial wipes. Is this an item that I absolutely need, or is there a way to replace it and um, use just a basic washcloth and soap to clean your face? A, you're not only protecting and saving the environment, but you're also saving money. You are saving money by reusing the washcloth and the soap versus buying facial wipes. So those are some things that I'm going to be implementing into my home to simplify it, to make it less clutter, to keep it more organized. what I did I mean obviously this is not Pinterest worthy so don't freak out but I've gotten it for the most part organized um, I did use this Dollar Tree basket to corral our facial wipes and then off to the side our hair brushes and things like that and below yes it's still a little cluttery but it's more organized than it was and I use these two bins to hold contact things and hair bun holders so both from the Dollar Tree and then up here in the medicine chest, much better, more organized. I use this um, butter dish from the Dollar Tree to corral like the little smaller like lip glosses and dental floss and things like that. And then this is just an empty jar for our razors. And as you can see here, I got these baskets from Menards. And I love them. And they basically corral hand towels and body towels, extra toiletry items, and extra blankets. Now, underneath the sink, um, not sure how that got over there. 
And we have a bin that kind of does all our face washes. Just so I know, like these are all the face washes that we're going through or astringents or makeup wipes and things like that. They're all in one of these from the Dollar Tree. And then over here, deodorant. And then they have these stackable things that I use to stack, like dental floss down there. I think at the bottom one, there's like, um, um, loofahs and then there's cotton balls and I already know going through and organizing that I'm going to need q-tips and then there's feminine wipes in this back green bin um, then also I like to corral all my um, cleaners in this other little wicker kind of basket type of thing that I got from the Dollar Tree so I like to have that all in there to pull out very easily now in my downstairs bathroom I found these red like cardboard containers to put extra ponytails and then all of the band-aids and things like that back there um hair brushes extra hair brushes and some roller bottles are in this little corner here and then down here is just pretty much like thermometers and things like that i like to keep all of our first aid items on the first floor just because usually when there's incidences that happen they always happen on the first floor so i just took it all from upstairs and brought it all down here. Now in our medicine chest on our main floor, I found these little containers from the Dollar Tree to corral um, medicine, seasonal medicine for allergies. Um, my husband gets sick a lot throughout the year, so he has different meds he likes to take. All of our um, medicines that we use topically on our body when we're sore are in there. I actually gained a lot of room in this um, medicine chest. We put all of our ibuprofens and Tylenol in here along with the Neosporin. I put that there because usually my kids ask for it and I wanted it accessible. Alcohol, calamine lotion, all of that is up there high. <laughs> and look, all this room is left over for anything additional. Hopefully it just stays empty. I'd rather have it stay empty. So I hope this video inspired you. I hope it is getting you motivated to get in those bathrooms, declutter them, organize them. Give me a thumbs up if you love organizational videos. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos from me. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you all real soon. So long.